Hello designer, it's Gigi here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a neat stretch fabric block. You will need a paper and make sure you fold your paper in half because we're going to use the, the other side for the pack base that we're going to dress afterward. So I just fold my paper in half. You need a long ruler if you have. We need a pattern master ruler if you have. If you don't, French curve ruler will do if you don't have a pattern master ruler. You need tape measure, scissor, pen, or a marker. And you also need a different color marker a nurture. If you're not used to pattern making, you will see what I use the nurture for. For the other designer that they used to pattern make, they know what we use a, a nurture for. But if you don't have, don't worry about it. We also need the tracing wheel. So this is a tracing wheel. If you don't have a tracing wheel, it's okay. Uh, this is all the materials that we need designer so now let's get started you will need the follow measurement draw a straight line from this point there measure your bus measurement divide divide 1.1 and divide divide 4 and draw a line measure your shoulder to waist measurement minus one centimeter from this point your waist divide divide 1.1 divide divide 4 whatever measurement you get here run to the nearest number. Connect those two dots. This is the waistline. From here down, measure your hip height minus 0 0.5. Extend your line if you have to. From here to there, Measure your hip, divide, divide 1.1, then divide, divide 4. Whatever measurement you get, round to the nearest number. And draw a line. And this is your hip line. From here down, measure one half of your top arm plus 3.5 centimeters. And whatever measurement you get here, just mark here as well. And now just draw a line. This is gonna be your chest line. And now just connect these two. Draw your hip line. If you have a pattern master ruler, it's very easy to draw your hip line. But if you don't have a pattern master ruler, this ruler is really good, which is uh, so easy. You can find it on Amazon. I'll put the link in the, in the description. And it's very good ruler for anyone who is a beginner from pattern making because it tells you basically how to use the ruler. So it's really good. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend. Because you just place your ruler like this. And then you draw, you have your hip. You draw your hip. And if you don't have access to any, any of those ruler, this is a small French uh, French curve ruler also can help you just do your best and just place and then just draw I, I highly recommend for using this ruler make sure you use a pencil for you to be able to like draw and then do your best I don't know every design I can do have access to the rulers that I have that for when I do my pattern making 
trying your best with this ruler. But I personally, because I've been doing pattern making for so long and I'm so used to this ruler, this pattern, uh, with this pattern master ruler that I have over like 10 years, I just prefer this one, so I'm used to this ruler. Just place, find a, a nice curve in your ruler and then just draw your, your hip curve. Because this is a, a need to wear um, block, try and avoid not having any point around here. Just try and curve a little bit. So it's nice and curved. Next, we're going to do the armhole. From this point down, measure one half of your shoulder plus two centimeters. And from here, Today, measure one half of your shoulder. From here, there, measure one half of your shoulder. Again. And then just go down. This line is just for a guidance for us to be able to draw our neck hole. So this is going to be your front neck hole. Let's just go in about 0 0.5 centimeters. With the Pattern Master ruler, it just makes so much easier to draw. Place your ruler like this and draw. This will be your front neck hole so this is our front neck hole and from here today measure your shoulder measurement so from this point go down four centimeters connect this and this dot. So this will be your shoulder. Next, go down this line. Let's start drawing our front armhole. Divide those two in half. Measure those two in half again. From this dot, go in one centimeter. Now draw your front arm hole. We're going to go from this point to here, there, and then there. This is our front arm hole. Now let's draw our back arm hole. I'm going to use a red pencil for the back armhole. From this point, go in 0 0.5 centimeters. Now just follow from the line, the way there and then there. That will be our back armhole. just go over it so this will be the red one will be our back and then the black one will be our front 
Next, let's draw our back neck hole. Just from this point, go down two centimeters. Let's draw a guideline again, just from this point, just extend. This line is just for our guidance. You just go in 0 0.5 centimeters. Now just draw, draw your back neck hole. So our block uh, for the front and back is done. The next thing that we need to do is obviously we have a paper at the back. You can use a tracing paper, you can put a much. So what I am going to do, because I like to make sure the paper is not going to be moving around. So I just like to tape it. You can do the same if you like. I like to staple together because that way I'm going to be guaranteed that my paper at the bottom is not going to be moving when I'm cutting. So let's cut for the back one. We're going to go around to the red one and then just continue. Everything's the same. We're just going to cut the black line, and that's for our front. Measure from here down your bust height minus 0 0.5 centimeters. Now draw. This will be your bust line. And this is your bus line. We have finished with our front and back block. Let's create our sleeve. We get a piece of paper. You will need a full measurement. You need your wrist and your sleeve length measurement. Draw a line with your sleeve length minus one centimeters. Measure your front armhole. Mine is 12 and a half. So get that measurement for your front arm hole. Mine is 12, 12 and a half times 0 0.6 centimeters. And whatever that measurement give you, you measure here. We're just going to draw a line for guidance. Yeah, just draw a line. This line doesn't have to have a measurement. The most important thing is that you need to get this measurement to right. So measure your back armhole. Whatever measurement you get for your back armhole, you place it here from this point there and then just place it here. So for buy one, it was 12 and a half as well for the back. And I marked it here for my back I'm home. So this is going to be your back. And remember for my front armhole, it was 12 and a half as well. 
So get your tape measure just placed here and then you find out whatever measurement and the measurement you need to hit this line no matter what like say if you put your tape measure like this you can see here is measure less than you need basically you just keep moving your tape measure until you get the right measurement so it was 12 and a half and you mark you mark on this line and you draw a line from this point to this point divide by two And then this and this divide by two as well. Next, this and this divide by two again. So the first one go out two centimeters you go out two centimeters this one go in 0 0.5 centimeters next let's divide the front this is our front Divide from here to there, divide, divide by two. From this point to here, divide by two again. And mark. From this point to this point, divide by two again. The first dot go out 1.5 centimeters. From this one, go in one centimeter. So basically we're gonna go here, there, up, there them we have to add two notch at the back and then just go down one centimeters because we always have to add the two notch for the back pieces and this is our second notch. And then for the front, you just add one notch from the middle point that we done earlier. Get your wrist measurement, divide, divide, 1.1, then divide, divide by two. Whatever measurement you get, you put it each side. So mine is seven each side. So this measurement is your wrist measurement. Now just connect those two lines.
we need to transfer the back notch to our back. Place your sleeve block like this from your back piece and then just move it around and mark. Mark to transfer the back notch. So we have the back notch for our back. See if we place it. See, it match. Let's do the same for the front. And get your front block until you get the notch to a place where you can mark. Your block is done, designer. We have a back block, a front block, and we have our sleeve. You can use this block with any fabric that has got like a minimal stretch. I have cut all my pieces. I cut my back on fold. You don't have to cut your one on fold. If you, if you decide not to cut your back on fold, just make sure you add a similar one, see at the back. And I cut two pieces of my sleeves. And next we're going to sew this together and then try on to see how the fit is. And this is a jersey fabric that I'm using and it's very, very light. Place white side together and pin on the shoulder seam. We have so now place your sleeve right side together make sure your notch are matching now that we have sewn the sleeve now place right side together pin on the side seam both side and sew this is a very quick sewing tutorial If you don't have an overlock machine, I would recommend you use your sewing machine with zigzag stitch. Now turn your top is done and here's the final product design. I'm really happy with the fitting. I'll see you on my next video. Make sure you turn the notification bell on.